This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Gabriel. Visit www.gabriel.com for more information and enjoy the show. Philadelphia. Home of the Liberty Bell, Benjamin Franklin, Reading Terminal Market, The Mummers, and this year's ATA Management Conference and Exhibition. Fleet Equipment's giving you an all-access pass to the trade show floor. We'll talk to some of the industry's top minds and get a handle on today's truck technology trends. So grab your notepad and try to keep up. Hi, I'm Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment Magazine. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the phone calls, emails, blogs, likes, tweets, and more. So I'm hitting the road to talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. Among the truck OE news, Kenworth introduced a T880 40-inch sleeper for vocational customers. Volvo Trucks named Ruan Transport and Searcy Trucking as the 2015 Volvo Truck Safety Award winners. Daimler President and CEO Martin Dom gave a Daimler brand update and ruminated on 2016 truck sales, predicting another solid year with truck sales following somewhere between 2014 and 2015 numbers. Additionally, Detroit introduced a new online portal available on Freightliner and Western Star trucks sporting a Detroit engine that will provide Detroit Connect users additional information about overall fleet health. Overall, technology was the name of the game at this year's ATA, and we saw four big trends bubble to the surface. So we hit the booths to glean insight from a few of today's top industry leaders. Technology for us is extremely important in, in trying to drive improved uptime. Uh, we've always had people in place with our uptime center, but with Guard Dog Connect, with all the diagnostic tools we have, it's allowing us to improve our communication of fault codes or issues that we may be seeing in our, in our trucks, communicate quickly with the, the uh, operations department of a customer, work directly with our dealers. And, and solve problems faster than we've ever been. We've seen improvements of uh, diagnostic up to 70% and overall repair down by 20%. And, and our next focus really is, is changing the process and the way our dealers operate and moving toward an uptime certified location, which is uh, not a first in, first out. It really is looking at uh, the type of repair order and putting the right person on the job based upon that, that type of repair order. When you look at all the systems and vehicles that can benefit from over-the-air updates as opposed to having software updates occur while a vehicle is in maintenance, the number is, is big already and growing quickly. You've got telematic systems, you've got navigation systems of the type we announced this week at ATA. Uh, you've got primary vehicle systems like engines, transmissions, and other controllers in the vehicle that get increasingly sophisticated with autonomic technologies and other important advances, and those are all increasingly software-driven. Fleet managers are looking for a number of different things that are really driving and changing the requirements for telematic systems, logging systems, fleet mobility systems. I think the first that we've seen is really the, the push for more choices, more different uh, display types or device types for drivers, whether that's a off-the-shelf smartphone or a tablet or a ruggedized commercial-grade tablet. Fleet managers want options for their drivers, and they want to personally enable those for them as well. They want to have their business functions operate on the left-hand side, and they want to have personally enabled types of apps on the right-hand side. They want these to come together, and what we've seen is what's called the COPE model, or the corporately owned, personally enabled types of solutions that give fleets an advantage, the ability to recruit and retain truck drivers while having their compliance solutions in place. With video and video safety programs, fleets have an understanding of what's happening around the vehicle as well as what's happening in the vehicle, what the drivers are doing to protect themselves, to protect the motoring public, and to protect the fleet. 
There was definitely a lot to talk about at this year's ATA, so be sure to head over to www.fleetequipmentmag.com to check out all of our trade show coverage.